Ladies and gents, NTV here with some more Pokemon Emerald. Last episode, we caught Groudon. This episode, this is the finale. And you might be wondering what I'm going to be doing for the finale. Well, if you want to know, here's a little hint. I'm going to call Wallace here. I'm inside. I can't do that. Okay, then. That's right, you can't use the Pokenav to call people inside buildings, which is really weird. But anyways, I'm gonna call Wallace just to give you a hint. So Wallace... Hello Ralph, have you met Steven? He is actually incredibly skilled. However, he's an odd soul who rarely battles. Instead, he would rather look for rare stones. I'm sure he's digging in a cave or craggy mountain somewhere. What, it, what is a rare stone exactly? All I can think of is a meteorite. And if you call him again, is he going to say the same thing? Yeah, well, that hint about a meteorite is actually a hint as to where Steven is. Because, yep, we're going to be fighting Steven this episode. And before we do that, I have a piss ton of rare candies I need to use. So, I'm going to use all of them. I also leveled up Ario's off screen to level 61 that way. Everyone will be level 63 once I use up all my rare candies. But uh, anyways, while I'm feeding all of my candies to my Pokemon and giving them diabetes, I'm going to talk about the last event that's available in Emerald, because I talked about the Birth Island and the Naval Rock events in the last two episodes. So I'm going to be talking about the last one, which is Emerald Exclusive. It's, it's a pretty interesting one. It's Japan only, actually, but in Japan... For a time, they were distributing an item called the Old Sea Map. Yeah, the Old Sea Map, that's what it's called. And you can use it to go to this place called Faraway Island. Faraway Island is actually pretty interesting. There's a sign there, which... I'll put up what it says on this, uh, on the sign right now. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. It gives some lore into some... Some of the Pokemon games, mo most... Uh, more specifically, Fire Red and Leaf Green, Red, Blue, and Yellow. And actually, in the Japanese version of Emerald, if you examine the sign at the end of it, um, it's the last syllable to a character's name that ends in G, or like J-I. And a lot of people like to speculate that uh, Mr. Fuji wrote that sign because he's heavily tied into the backstory of the Pokemon Mansion in that game, in Fire Red and Leaf Green. And a lot of people like to speculate that he was involved in um, the diaries, and also um, the founder of the Pokemon Lab in Sinbar Island is Dr. Fuji, which people like to speculate is the same Mr. Fuji from that same game. But anyways, if you go to the end of Faraway Island, and, uh, you'll be in this small room, I guess? And in it, you can find Mew. You have to chase Mew in the tall grass, kind of like how you have to fight the Mimic Circle, except Mew is actively avoiding you. But once you encounter Mew, it's going to be level 30. And let's feed these last rare candies, but yeah, Mew is level 30, so... No, I don't want Endeavor. It's a fairly interesting Pokemon, its stats are balanced all around it, so it could pretty much do anything, and the... The best thing about Mew is that it can learn any move tutor move and any TM or HM, so its move pool is very, very, very diverse. Second only to Smeargle, actually. But, yeah, Mew, it can do a lot of things. You can't use Mew in the Battle Frontier, unfortunately, but whatever. Mew is still very, very good, because it could do anything, it could play support, it could be used defensively if you want, even though it's not that good at offense. But yeah, Mew can do anything, really. And it's a, a Pokemon I can highly recommend, except, really, you, there's no way to go to Faraway Island without cheating now, but it's still a fairly interesting event. But uh, yeah, with that done, let's head over to Meteor Falls, because that's where the meteorite was when Professor Cosmo found it, so yeah, I guess that's where we're going. And yeah, Meteor Falls. I thought I was going to be talking about Mew for a lot longer in this video, but whatever. Let's go in. 
And you might be wondering where Steven is in Meteor Falls. Well, first off, you're gonna need to have Pokemon with Surf and Waterfall. I mean, you don't need to call Wallace to find Steven, but if you're looking for him, it's the easiest way to get a hint onto where he is, but yeah. And you can only fight Steven once, you can't rematch him, but um, anyways, if you look over here, there's a new cave over here that wasn't there before. That cave is there once you beat the Elite Four, and it's only in um, in Emerald only because in Ruby and Sapphire, Steven is the champion of the Pokemon League, so yeah. Well anyways, to get to that room, all you need to do is just go up here, and we're here. Nothing interesting really, except at the very end of this room, all the way over here, here, it's Steven. So, let's go talk to him. Now, you might want to be prepared. I have some items, so I think I'm all set, but, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, Ralph, I'm amazed you knew where to find me. Do you, uh, maybe think of me as just a rock maniac? Actually, yes, I do. No, that can't be right. We battle alongside each other at the Sutopolis Space Center. Sutopolis. There's no space center there. Let's talk about the Moss Deep Space Center. You should have a very good idea about how good I am. Okay, Ralph, if you're gonna mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. And we have the final battle of the game against Pokemon Trainer Steven. Be prepared because his Pokemon are very, very tough, very, very high leveled. So first off, he's gonna be sending out Skarmory, which is level 77 with the move Toxic, Aerial Ace, Spikes, and Steel Wing. Uh, it's gonna be a pain to deal with uh, a bit like a bit on the physical side because its physical defense is really really huge but um I'm gonna send up Vesuvius here I think Vesuvius has the best shot at taking this thing out now if it uses spikes that might be a bit of a pain yeah hopefully it only sets up one layer of spikes because the way spikes work is you can set up the three layers one layer of spikes is gonna take away I believe a sixteenth of your health, two layers of spikes is going to take away one eighth of your health, and four or three layers is going to take out one fourth. You can use rapid spin to get rid of spikes, but I don't have that. But yeah, and if you have Pokemon with Levitate or Flying types, then they won't be affected by spikes because they're not on the ground. Okay then, you do that, you survive that flamethrower and use your full restore. Skarmory. Since I have special attacks, I'm not that worried about it, to be honest, so... Yeah. This battle really shouldn't be that difficult. At least against Sigarmory. Some of his other Pokémon, though, they will be... a pain. An Aerial Ace. I should be able to survive, because... Sigarmory doesn't have the best attacks. I mean, it could still do quite a bit of damage, but... It's mainly known for being its, uh, on the bulky side, instead of on the hard-hitting side. Hey, next up is Agron. Uh, who do I want to send out against Agron? Uh, let's see. I guess. Uh, Bo? I guess? Okay, Agron, it's gonna be level 76. This is an interesting Agron because it has the moves Thunder, Earthquake, Solar Beam, and Dragon Claw. It's. It's. A special sweeping Agron of Doom? I guess? I really don't know, because. That's a thing. I mean, Earthquake is still gonna be doing quite a bit, but. The other moves, those are all special attacks. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that Earthquake. This is gonna hurt a lot. But I am hitting it with a move that will be four times effective against it, so... Hopefully it does a lot, even though Agron has a lot of defense. Ugh. You're probably gonna use... A full restore, so I'm just gonna use a Hyper Potion here, and hope that I can survive two Earthquakes. No, you didn't use another Earth... or er, another full restore. Okay, then. Why? Oh yeah, I can survive another Earthquake. You're going down. Unless this is a critical. Not a critical, nice. Okay, Agron is taken care of. And... 
what's next? Armaldo. How do I want to take care of this? Uh. Let's see. I guess Ionia can take care of Armaldo. Armaldo is going to be level 76 with the moves Water Pulse, Ancient Power, Aerial Ass, Aerial Ass, Aerial Ace, and Slash. Um, the moves I'm worried about the most are probably Ancient Power and Slash. Because Ancient Power can give it that boost. And Slash, if it gets a critical, it's going to be doing a lot, so... Yeah, I might want to prepare myself here. Now, hopefully, um... Hopefully, I can do a lot after just one calm mind. So, this is gonna be quite the challenge, but good thing the thing is still asleep. Let's try one psychic just to test the waters out, I guess. Over half, good. And I can knock out Armaldo, nice. Okay, then. Let's knock you out. Okay, Armaldo is down. What are you sending out next? Cray Dilly. Eh, this is... Okay, then, Padsy, I guess you can take care of this. Cray Dilly is going to be level 76 with the moves Giga Drain, Inch Power, Ingrain, and Confuse Ray. Cray Dilly is always one of those awkward Pokemon to fight because... It's typing... Means it's going to be taking neutral damage from a lot of moves that would normally, su uh, normally be super effective against it. But, um, hopefully... I don't have that problem because, yeah. Also, Cradilly is pretty bulky, and it just has moves that are meant to annoy you, like Confuse Ray and Ingrain. So, yeah. Nah, it's gonna... Oh, I froze it! Cool! Oh, that is very, very, very good. Okay, then. Ice Beam you. Oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that because he's gonna use a full restore. Uh, you know what? Since you're going to be using a full restore, I'm going to use a Giga Drain here. So hopefully my next two Ice Beams will be enough to knock it out. And also I'll be able to get back some HP from this. Cradilly is probably one of the more annoying Pokemon to fight against Steven because it's just so freaking bulky on both the physical defense and the special defense side. So, yeah. Very, very annoying. One more sh- uh, I don't like you. Hopefully I hit through this, because... It's probably gonna use Ingrain and then just throw me off, so... Let's try. And hopefully the RNG will cooperate with me. Nice! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, next up is gonna be Claydol. Okay, then Claydol is going to be level 75 with the moves Reflect, Light Screen, Ancient Power, and Earthquake. This is mainly his support Pokemon because it's going to set up those Reflects and Light Screens and just annoy me. Uh, crunch, I guess. But yeah, Claydol, not, not really too worried about this just because it can't really hurt Arios here. I mean, it's going to make knocking out his last Pokemon really annoying, but whatever. Oh, Reflect. Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? I don't like you. Okay, then. Can I get a special defense drop? Nice. I got what I wanted. Ooh, I have an idea, actually. Don't get a stat boot. You freaking freaking I hate you. I mean, you still can't hurt me, but still, I hate you, and everything you stand for, don't get another stat boost. Good. Good, good, good. You basically negated my own stat- Good! Good job, Arios. Your crunching is helpful. Crunch that clay. Yummy. Okay, you're not getting the stat boost. It's a, it's a 10% chance to get a stat boost from that. Whatever. Ooh, light screen wore off, so... Yeah, for a store, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of damage to this thing, so... And maybe I can knock it out before I can set up another light screen, and maybe Reflect can wear off. Because that'd be good. 
Reflect war off. Okay, set up a light screen. You're faster than me because of this stupid ancient power. Which means you're gonna set up a reflect. Oh no, you didn't set up reflect. Okay then. You do that. You, you do that. Okay. Another special defense drop. Another full restore, but I'm still going to be doing a lot of damage because... Claydol essentially has one special defense drop down because that light screen is a thing. Oh, this is good. This is good. That's... Okay, reflect. Kind of wishing you didn't do that because... Reflect is going to make knocking out your last Pokemon a whole lot harder. You know what? Screech, I guess? I mean, it's not going to change a thing here. Please... Okay, no, uh, no stat boost there. Okay, light screen wore off. Not too... Uh, you're going to set up another light screen, aren't you? You know what? Screw it. Screw it, this is going to be worth it, I guess. Oh, barely knocked it out. Okay, then. Earth... Earthquake? You can't hit me now! You ran out of ancient powers, didn't you? Well, either way, Claydol is down, and all that's left is his last Pokemon, which is his ace, Metagross. Metagross is going to be level 78 with the Citrus Berry, so if its HP gets low enough, it's going to heal some HP. I believe 30 HP in this game, because Citrus Berry heals 25% HP in later games, but uh, yeah. And it also has the moves Earthquake, Psychic, Meteor Mash, and Shadow Ball. You know how strong Metagross can be, so... Because I use one in the Battle Frontier, but Metagross, it's a very dangerous Pokemon, especially with moves like Meteor Mash and Earthquake. And I didn't want Reflect to be a thing, because... It's gonna lower the damage it takes for my earthquakes. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I'm faster than it, though. No, I'm not. Don't get a special defense drop on me, because that's gonna hurt. Okay, then. I can survive another one. Maybe, if I use a hyper potion, definitely. Or I can get a critical hit! Okay, then. So much for being dangerous. Holy crap. I was really worried about that Metagross, but Axel, you pulled through. Holy crap. But yeah, that's Steven down. And yeah, we beat the strongest trainer in the game. Cool. You know, the thing I like about Steven's team is he uses a lot of Steel types, but he also uses a lot of Rock types. It fits in with the whole him being a Steel type specialist, but liking finding rare stones. I don't know, I think that's really interesting, and he has two fossils to show that as well. Just really cool. You. I had no idea you'd come so strong. That was a tough battle. Come to think of it, ever since our paths first crossed in Granite Cave and Duford, I had this feeling. I thought that you would eventually become the champion. My predictions usually come true. And where will you go from here? Even I couldn't tell you that. Well, neither could I. Who knows where I'll be from like, in the future, but for now, that's it for Pokemon Emerald, so this was a fun project, but it's time to end it, so I'll be seeing you guys next time for, I mean, I need to finish off No More Heroes 2, but after that, I'll see you guys for my next project, so uh, Later!